Today we're going to talk about the Eddie Bauer Karakorum 20 degree sleeping bag and how it did in the 25 degree sleeping bag test we just did. I am here in the Sportsman's Cove. As you've seen, I got all these zero degree sleeping bags hung up. I got Voluntray, Thermarest, Vaud, Mountain Hardware, Eddie Bauer, Kelty, Sierra Designs. Tons of sleeping bags here that we're getting ready to test in a much colder temperature. These are all zero degree. But recently it was around 25 degrees and I did a bunch of testing on 20 degree sleeping bags. And we're gonna talk about the Eddie Bauer Care Quorum today. Now the one thing I've said for many years is this right here, this baffle that goes across your chest is integral in how they design it. And Eddie Bauer, I think, kind of missed the mark a little bit compared to some other competition like Voluntray and Mountain Hardware to be specific. Uh, they have more of ones that actually kind of wrap around to a degree. They don't let as much air in and they're adjustable. This Eddie Bauer, not adjustable. So with this one, I definitely felt some cold air coming in down through here. Uh, even though I can, you can with this one, cinch it up here, you can't cinch up that baffle. So that baffle just kind of sits there at the same rate. You know, this isn't compressing at all. It's just this right here. So uh, I did notice that. So if you're not a 42 to 44 chest like I am, um, you are 100% going to notice a lot of cold air probably coming in here with a medium sized bag or a regular size bag. Like this is a Sierra Designs Mobile Mummy. And what did they do with their baffle? Well, their head, uh, you know, hood or whatever here, this actually goes around your head like a hoodie would, uh, more so than like the traditional uh, sleeping bag. And they have pretty much the exact same baffle. The difference is their baffle's higher, which means it's up more towards your neck area. And this thing really locks in the warmth. This bag was made around the exact same time. We're taking a look at Voluntre, not French, but I, I think that's how you say it. You can see how theirs, number one, is adjustable. Uh, so let me move this around for you. So as you can see, Voluntre's is adjustable. So right now I have it pulled out pretty far, but if I wanted to cinch that down, I can. And then on the end here, as you can see, that kind of like forms to you big and thick and fluff and there's tons of insulation in here okay that's the key now, this is the mountain hardware this is their bishop pass and as you can see they have those little nubs I was talking about on the side here which kind of wrap around you know like right here that wraps around and kind of fills in the void where your neck is to wrap around you and keep that warmth in that's the one thing that is missing in this Eddie Bauer 20 degree Karakorum Besides that, this is pretty cool that it uses uh, dry down. They use they call it dry tech water repellent down. And on top of that, they use a DWR on the uh, material here on the outside. There's, they call it storm repel. Um, so they use a lot of different stuff. It's a very technical bag. Uh, the other thing I will say is it doesn't seem as plump as some other 20 degree bags. I mean, this has been out for a while and I store it in the big storage sack, not the compressed sack, which is what you shouldn't do anyhow. Um, but this has been out for a while, plumping up, and it's just kind of like, eh, I don't know, limp? But anyway, let's get down to the numbers. So this bag started out at 43 degrees. As a preface, what I do is I go outside for five minutes, I'll take this bag from inside, my house is around 65 degrees. I will go outside and I will stand for five minutes, I will open the bag up, and let that sit down there for five minutes and just kind of cool off. I don't want to just go right from inside to out, from outside, from inside to outside. I don't wanna just go right out there and get in the bag. It kinda defeats the purpose. So I let everything chill off for five minutes and this one started at 43 degrees. Um, after five minutes, it got, got the 47 degrees. Uh, 10 minutes, 53, 20 minutes, 60. And finally, after 30 minutes, we're at 66 degrees. Uh, in comparison to some of the other bags I tested, like the Eddie Bauer Igniter, the uh, uh, Vaud, Arctic 800 and the Mountain Hardware Flame, which is not available anymore. Um, this one performed okay. It was right on par with the Mountain Hardware. Um, and then it was a little less than a, the Igniter by Eddie Bauer, which is actually half the cost of this. And that uses synthetic insulation. Um, this bag is super lightweight, but super expensive. Um, as far as performance goes, I think there's definitely better bags out there. Um, particularly this baffle. This baffle just bothers me that nowadays uh, a lot of companies just are not making a 
a great baffle design. Now, where would I recommend this? I'd recommend this at 30 degrees. Um, 30, 32 degrees, this bag would be great. Um, I wouldn't take it down to, I, I would not go below 25 degrees. Um, so if you're gonna hit like 28 degrees, 29, 27, uh, for a low, I think this would be a decent bag to use uh, if you're going to pay the price. You can see the down through this, so this is extremely thin fabric. Uh, as you can see here, um, I'm kind of getting more into a review than talking about the test, but as you can see here, I did have an incident with this once uh, where it ripped. And it was simply because, number one, it uses such light fabric. It is not a very big thick fabric whatsoever and on top of that they don't have a great uh, design here with their zipper uh, you see some other zippers out there that are much better this is just a basic zipper there's nothing protecting uh, stuff so if you pull this up you can see right there I've already caught it <laughs> so you have to be super careful which is what I learned with this bag uh, many many years ago when I used it for the first time out on a hammocking trip uh, to be careful. The one metric that I can compare all these bags against, it's really hard to compare them identically, but the one metric that I think uh, matters is the percent of increase. So what's the percent of increase of uh, temperature from the start of the test to the end of the test? And I can track that. So like for instance, the VOD, the battery gave out and I had to go get another battery and come back out. And with the VOD that I tested, it was uh, what, six degrees colder when I started. Um, so the temperature at 30 minutes wasn't as high because it started out lower, but the percent of increase was dramatically higher, um, as it was only three degrees off of this, but this started six degrees, you know, warmer uh, when I started. So when it comes to that percent of increase in warmth throughout the 30 minutes of test, this did okay. Um, like I said, I've used this in the past. I just would not go below 30 degrees. I think if you have that as your expectation and you want a really lightweight bag that compresses up really, really well, uh, puffs up reasonably well, but not awesome, um, I think this would be the bag for you. So if you guys are looking for something in that category, I would take a look at it. I'll put a link down below to where you can get it. You can get it on Amazon and you can also get it on Eddie Bauer's website. So that's a quick look at the test that I ran on uh, this bag and other 20 degree bags that I have. Um, I do have some more that are in the mail that I'm going to test at a future date. I've had this for years. I've tested other sleeping bags in the past, many other sleeping bags. And for the price, I definitely think you can do better. I think it's a little overpriced uh, where it's at right now at uh, $449, which is a dramatic price, especially since like I've had this for, I think, six years. Price hasn't really come down at all in six years. Uh, but other companies have created, I think, better sleeping bags for a more reasonable price. So, uh, Valentre comes to mind. I will always promote Valentre. They do awesome work with their bags. They think about their bags. Um, Eddie Bauer just has a basic design here that's been around forever. And I don't think they've really improved on it very much at all. So, that's what I think about this test. It's okay. If you want to spend 450 bucks to get okay, then this is the bag for you. Stay tuned for some more tests. I got the Eddie Bauer igniter test uh, results, which I'm gonna film right after this. And uh, after that, there's a nice cold front moving in where I can test a bunch of zero degree bags, which I'm really excited about. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. And until next time, later.